Good morning. Good morning. Common ground. Common ground. Good morning. Good morning. We're still around. We're still around. Mr. Josh. Miss Jeanette. Miss Liz. And Miss LJ. We're gonna do calendar and maybe learn about the moon and maybe learn our letters and sing a lot and play. And math also. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Common Ground. Penny Dog and I are so happy to see you. Today is Friday. We've made it. And we're gonna kick off today with singing our days of the week. Sound good, Penny Dog? She says it does. All right. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday was yesterday, Friday is today, Saturday's tomorrow. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yesterday was Thursday, Friday. Oh man, guys, I messed up. I started thinking something and then Penny bumped me and I messed up, but it makes me upset. But does it mean that I can't sing this song? No, no, I messed up. Oh, does it mean I messed up? Does it mean the whole day is ruined? No, it doesn't. What What does it mean I should do? Should I, should I try again? Oh, that's a great idea. We'll just try again. We'll take it right from Sunday. Try again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday is today, Saturday, one, two, three, four. That was it, guys, just because I messed up. And I messed up the second time, too. It doesn't ruin the day. Sometimes we make mistakes, and that's okay. Making mistakes is how we learn. And sometimes when we make a mistake, we can learn something even cooler. Like, that's called a happy accident. Well, let's have a quick song for Mr. Josh, who very rarely makes mistakes, but he keeps trying when he does too. Let's have a song for Mr. Josh, and then we'll be right back with our calendar. <laughs> I see what's happening here. You're face to face with greatness and it's true. You don't even know how you feel. It's adorable. It's nice to see that humans never change. Open your eyes, let's begin. Yes, it's really me, it's Maui, really then. I know it's a lot of the hair, the vines. When you're staring at a demigod, oh, what can I say except you're welcome? For the tides, for the tides, the sun in the sky. No need to pray, it's okay. You're welcome. I'm just an ordinary Jimmy guy. Hey, what else? The thumbs and pulled up the sky. When you were wilding, yay, hide the sky. When the night got cold, don't you fly from down below. You're looking at him, yo. What do I last? So the sun. To stretch the days and bring new fun. Also, my harness the breeze. You're welcome to fill your sails and shake your trees. What can I say except you're welcome to the islands of food from the sea? Hey, no need to pray, it's okay. You're welcome. I guess that's just my way of being me. You're welcome. You're welcome. And thank you. Thank you, Mr. Josh. <laughs> that was such a great song. All right, guys, we have our calendar and I'm going to erase yesterday's smiley face 
and we're gonna cross out yesterday. Are you guys ready? Yesterday was the 10th. And what's one more than 10? Friday the 11th. Let's put a big star on today instead of a smiley face. Oh, something different and that's okay. So today is Friday, September 11th. And September 11th is a day that a tragedy happened in the United States. Here in America, some people did some things and it caused America to come together. And it's a day that we all remember all of the good people. And we remember how We, we just remember how um, when something bad happens, it can bring people together. Just like a mistake, you can overcome it. You can overcome when bad things happen. Silly penny dog, you are drinking water very loudly. Do you guys hear that sound? That's penny dog drinking water. Well, since penny dog's going to drink some water, let's take a quick break and have a song, and then we'll come back and find out what our holiday is today. Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl? All right, guys, the holiday today and September 11th, it's Patriot Day, but the holiday is Make Your Bed Day. Do you make your bed? I hope so. I'm not always good at making my bed, but 
You know what I am good at? Reading books about little ones on a bed, 10 in the bed. So here's a book read by me. There were 10 in the bed. Bed. I'm so excited, you guys. There were 10 in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell up. There were nine in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell off. Have a seat, guys. There were eight in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. There were seven in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. No. There were six in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. So who's left? guys loved that story. Up next, you have a story from Miss LJ. Penny Dog, get ready because you're going to love this. Do you want to come up? She says no. All right. I hope you guys love this story with Miss LJ. Hello, everyone. It's Miss LJ and I'm here with I Will Not Eat You, which promises to be a very thrilling tale. So hang in there and let's get started. Theodore lived in a cave. It was a quiet cave, and that's why he liked it. I see orange leaves, yellow leaves, and red leaves. It looks like maybe autumn time. One morning, a bird flew up to the cave. It tweeted and squawked at Theodore. Tweet, tweet, squawk, tweet, squawk. Theodore thought, does it want me to eat it? But Theodore wasn't hungry. Go away, silly bird, he whispered. I will not eat you. The bird flew away. Later, a wolf jogged up to the cave. 
It howled at Theodore. Woo! 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 Theodore thought, perhaps I should eat it? This looks like a whole different season, doesn't it? Look at those green leaves. But Theodore wasn't hungry. Go away, loud wolf, he grumbled. I will not eat you. The wolf jogged away. That afternoon, a tiger ran up to the cave. It growled at Theodore. <laughs> Theodore thought, should I eat it? But Theodore still wasn't hungry. Go away, rumbly tiger, he huffed. I will not eat you. The tiger ran away. Theodore must be very big. No. That evening, a boy galloped up to the cave. The boy roared at Theodore. Roar! Seriously, thought Theodore. I should eat it. Theodore was getting hungry. Don't bother me, pesky boy, he bellowed, or I will eat you. The boy did not go away. Rawr, 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 rawr. He roared again. This upset Theodore. The boy poked, poke. That's it, Theodore snarled. Theodore chased the boy. I will eat you, <laughs> until the boy fell down. Before Theodore could gobble him up, something unexpected happened. Running through that bush did make him look a little silly, didn't it? The boy laughed. <laughs> that made Theodore laugh, and it's hard to eat someone when you're sharing a laugh. <laughs> Theodore still lived in a cave, but now the cave was extra quiet. See you. This looks like summer with those tall, tall sunflowers because Theodore was outside playing. I can always eat him later, thought Theodore. The Friends come in all shapes and sizes. And I hope you share a good one, a good laugh with one today. Have a good day. Did you guys love that story? Well, we have a song from Mr. Josh before we check our weather about monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs>
I just love those monkeys. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. All right, guys, let's find out if we can go outside today. Come on, Penny. What's the weather like today? Can we go outside and play? Let's check the window. I see some clouds and sun, and I think it's gonna be a great day to be outside. Not even a little bit raining like yesterday. It's just gonna be a perfect day outdoors. So maybe today would be a great day to have lunch outside. We'll see. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed circle time this morning. Next week, we're gonna have more lessons from Miss Jeanette, and we're gonna start having a schedule for circle time. Uh, Penny is in the way, isn't she? All right, we will see you next week. Have a great weekend. And here's one more song from Mr. Josh. Bye. All right. You guys like five little monkeys in the tree? Yeah. Yeah. You guys like it too? Okay. Five little monkeys sitting in the tree. Teasing at the crocodile can't catch me. Along came the crocodile, quiet as can be. Four little monkeys sitting in the tree, teasing at the crocodile, can't catch me. Along came the crocodile, quiet as can be. And how many do we have? Now we have three little monkeys sitting in the tree, teasing at the crocodile, can't catch me. Along came the crocodile, quiet as can be. And two little monkeys sitting in the tree. One more monkey. One little monkey sitting in the tree. Teasing with the crocodile. And Along came the crocodile. Quiet as can be. And No more monkeys on the tree.